Hello everyone, and in this video I just wanted to share something cool that I recently found. It's this authentication third-party system called Clerk.js, and essentially it takes the effort out of authenticating users on your Next.js, React, or like really any sort of application, and it requires very, very little code. And if you're like me, like I personally really hate having to authenticate. It's something I just don't want to take care of. I'd rather just focus on the back end and the front end rather than worrying about authentication and systems and, and like that. I'm just blabbering on. Um, but essentially uh, on this page is the authentication page. And you, as you can see, it has things like Google, um, things like we can add Facebook, Twitter, a bunch of things. And basically, as you saw, is it authenticated us really quickly and we're on the main page now because we are authenticated. So essentially how this works is after importing the API and installing Clerk.js, you can find it all on the documentation on Clerk. It took me like five minutes. Um, all you need to do is go to your layout and call the Clerk provider and wrap the entire application in the Clerk. And then what you want to do is create a page which calls either the user button or the sign up button. So like this right here is the user button. And all we're doing here is we're saying if there is no user, then don't put it, just put a sign up page. And if there is a user, display the user button. So we're going to sign out real quick and I'll show you what it looks like. However, um, we actually have to make a change real quick for that to work. Um, but I just wanted to share with you that it's really cool. This was the only piece of code that I put for this to display and the authentication system to work. Now, obviously, you know, to design everything and um, to design the sign up page, you would have to uh, here. I'll show you actually. So if you go to the sign up page, I put in some things that they have to design the page. And if I go to the slash sign up page, I would it let me No, it won't because I'm signed up. So what we need to do real quick is, you know, we're updating real time. That's fine. Um, we have to put an after sign out URL to the main page. So here's what will happen once we sign out. The sign up page is displayed. And this is what I was fearing. It's a little glitch. But essentially, um, right here, we have the sign up page where the user button was. And now if you want to sign up again, this is displayed. Now, what I wanted to share was that in the sign up page, we have like the form button, which is just the buttons here. So this thing right here and this thing right here. We have the form primary button. We have the social buttons, which is the Google button and other things you can design. Now, they don't make it that easy. That's one problem. They don't make it that easy to design, but they do have some pre layouts. So they have a base theme of neo brutalism, which I don't know what that is. They also have the dark. This is a part of the dark theme. But as you can see right here, they have this the regular one. They have the dark theme. Oh, I guess that's the dark theme. And if we go back, this one is my personal favorite. It looks like super futuristic. And that's really it. Like in here, you know, you have the things like Google Auth. You can do Facebook Auth. You can authenticate th through that. You can also authenticate users through a phone number, a username, password, and stuff like that. So now look, if we refresh the page for the application, um, hold on. Okay, I have to apply the changes. And if we refresh the page, we have all the things here that we need to authenticate as per our choice. So I, I don't really need that. So we'd, we're just going to remove it. But essentially, all I'm trying to say is with those little pieces of code, like just wrapping the layout and then displaying the button and the sign up button and taking your, you to the sign up page, we authenticated users. It was super easy. And FYI, if you don't know how I... Um, got and how I checked for the user. I just called the user ID, which is which every user has on authentication. So all I'm asking the computer to do is to check if there is a user ID. And if there is a user ID, obviously there's going to be a user button. And if not, then um, display a sign up button. So again, once we sign in like this, the user button will display. And look how it will not take me to the sign in page because we're signed in. Anyways, um, just a cool thing I wanted to show you. It's little, but you know, for those of us that don't like um, authenticating and you worrying about authentication, I think this is an amazing, amazing tool.